my parameter. Then I need to declare a variable that references the user defined table type, populate it with data, and run uh, the store procedure or function by passing as a parameter this variable. Okay, I have two ways of populating my variable with data. I can use union all, etc., but it's CWS 2008, so let's just use uh, row constructors. So you see that my store procedure executes, it reads its uh, parameter, which is table type, and displays, displays uh, its contents. I'm using this selection here as well in order to show that what we saw now, that is the contents of our variable, is different than the contents of the employee table. The merge statement, it's an intelligent new enhancement that combines insert and update operations within a single batch statement. One of the best examples uh, indicating the need for using this functionality is the synchronization uh, between two tables. The syntax example contains the merge keyword where you specify your target and source tables along with the uh, primary key columns. And then you have three cases. In the when matched case, it means that based on the key, one or even more records were found on the target table that also exist on the source. And it, it updates these records in the target table. The when not matched case means that the source table contains records that uh, do not exist in, in the target, and so it performs an insert. Last but not least is the when not matched by source case. Well, uh, that means that your target table contain, contains records that uh, do not exist in the source. And of course, these records need to be deleted. The last line uh, of code in this example is the output dollar sign action, which uh, displays on the screen statistics about the execution of the merge statement. That is, it says which records were inserted, uh, which records were deleted, updated, so on. And because the merge statement runs in batch mode, it's uh, a good idea to use this um, the output action keyword. Let's jump to demo three and see uh, the merge statement, how it exactly works. So I'm going to reinitialize my sample data for this demo. So I delete the contents of the employee table. The employee table will be used as our source table. So this is the sample data. And then I create the target table that is employee underscore target with the same columns, so without any data. And I select this table also to show that it, it has nothing. So at the time being, we have the employee table, which contains three records, and we have the employee target table, which contains nothing. So the two tables are not synchronized. 
So we perform the first action towards the synchronization of the two tables. You can see here the merge uh, statement. So we have the merge keyword where we say that the employee underscore target is the target table and the employee table is the source and their primary keys are the uh, ID columns. So when uh, when uh, the when matched case is true, then we update the name columns. When it is not matched, then we insert ID and name as well. When not matched, we just delete the record from the target, and we also have the output action keywords for uh, getting the statistics of the merge uh, statements execution. So you see, the first two columns, ID and name here, display the data found in the source. ID and name on the right display the, 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 the contents of the columns in the target table. And here you see that uh, they were null. So that's why the action was insert, insert for the three records. Now we would check the two tables to see if they are synchronous or not. We can see that, yeah, they are synchronized. So action number two. Let's modify the source table and update the name of the first employee to employee modified instead of employee A. Let's check the two tables if they are synchronized and they are not. In the source table, we see that the first employee's name is employee modified. We are in the target, it's MPA. Let's run the same statement as before, the merge statement. And here you see that it updated the first record. So the source value was employee modified. The target value was, uh, was MPA. That's why it performed an update. Of course, here you see update for the three records, but as an action, but uh, as I said earlier, the merge statement runs in batch mode, so that's why we see uh, the update action for all the records. Let's check the two tables if they are synchronized or not, and of course, we see that they are synchronized. The last action is to delete a record from the source table. So let's delete the first record. Try to see again if the two tables are synchronized. And we see that they are not. The target table contains, uh, still contains the first record that uh, was originally in the source table. And now it, is, uh, it does not exist because we deleted it. So still we need to synchronize the two tables we execute the same statement again. We see that a delete operation took place for the first record because the source was null. That is, the record was not present. We are in the target table where it was contained in the target table. That's why I deleted it. And for the other two records, we see the update operation, but the ID name values for both source and, and uh, target are the same, so actually uh, the update did nothing. It was just deletion. So if we check the two tables, we see that, yes, they are synchronized. Group pick sets. Uh, enable users to define multiple groupings in the same query. It is actually equivalent to a union all of different groups rows, but uh, of course it's more simple and that uh, that's why it simplifies aggregation logic. So in the code example we see on the screen, I'm using the AdventureWorks database and I want to have two different groupings. I want a grouping by customer ID and sales person ID and uh, I also want a uh, grouping by customer ID and territory ID. If I was about to do this using CWS,